Ah, what's going on YouTubers? I see you guys are checking out my video because you're curious to see about my uh, update that I have for the Celestron Power Seeker ADQ Refractor Telescope. So I've had this thing for about a day now and uh, I did my first video and I was telling you guys about how it was a little, a little complicated to set up and the pros and cons and stuff like that and I showed you a little bit of little amateur uh, stuff and I'm still still getting used to it. I, I, I think I'm getting a little used to it. Um, so I wanted to go into a little rant so hopefully you guys are, are in for or our, our, have nothing better to do than listen to me rant about this telescope. I'll show you guys some stuff that uh, it's not the greatest. I'm actually working on getting some new equipment now uh, for astronomy so I can um, enjoy the stars and planets a little better. Um, so I'm going to probably look into getting a different lens. Um, so the good news is I got to see Saturn finally. It was, it was so, so real. Like for many of you guys that probably, um, uh, have never experienced seeing the planets before, it was pretty cool. It, when you finally get the telescope aligned, um, and you hit onto the planet, and you see it for the first time from your eyes. I mean, you've seen pictures of it. You've seen TV shows probably of the planets and stuff. But when you when you actually zoom in and you see the planet for the first time, it is absolutely spectacular. It's amazing. It almost reminds me of these little tubes that you could get as a toy. Um, there were these little, little toys that had, were like a little scoop. And you would twist them and you would see like little little figures inside of the tube. Is what it was like. So I don't know if you guys remember those old toys and stuff. Or ever had any of those toys where you could see like the the little figures and little colors when you would tighten the tube, it would have like these crazy colors or it would have a figure in it. So it was basically like that. Um, I had to stay up till about four o'clock in the morning uh, for Saturn to pass over my area where I'm at. So apparently, the we do actually move and the planets do. Uh, finally come into a a site of view. Apparently, I, I didn't know if that would happen or not. Um, but I, I got a new app. I got an app uh, that tells me where the planets are around me. So you simply take this app called Sky Map, and you you use it on your Android phone, and it uses GPS to tell where the planets are and where you are. And you just aim it towards the sky where you are, or where you, or aim it up in the air. And it'll show you what's around you. And as you rotate yourself around, um, you'll basically see the planets and stuff. And, and it's pretty accurate, too. Uh, surprisingly, it, it was pretty much dead on with the moon where I was and stuff. So it was pretty cool to, to, to have an app like that for us newbies who <laughs> who don't know where our planets are and stuff in the sky. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, so, um, yeah, I need to get some stuff for my... Uh, my astronomy. I'm, I'm gonna be spending. Uh, I'm just spending ridiculous amounts of money on stupid things, but it's cool. You know, it's cool to have them whenever you need them. Um, if I ever sell it, somebody's gonna make a killing probably on on the amount of stuff that I'm buying for my telescopes and stuff. Um, I want to get a thing for my phone. Um, there there are Carl's or uh, Carson hookups is what they're called. So if you have an Android phone or a, a smartphone, you should look up Carson Carson uh, hookups. Uh, you can get them for about 50 bucks. There's a little mount that you can get for your phone. And what it does is it takes your phone camera. As you can see right there, my camera is right there. And it aligns with the little mount. And you and it has like a little clamp that clamps onto your eyepiece of your telescope. And then this phone sits on the little mount and your lens and your eyepiece. Or your, your little camera goes over your little eyepiece on your telescope and then it's perfectly aligned supposedly is what they sell it as I haven't tried it out yet but look forward to that video I will honestly tell you whether it's a piece of crap or whether it's really good or not now personally I've tried using the Nexus 6 which is what I'm using to record uh, footage and now I got some pictures and video of the moon it was pretty good this time it was some pretty good quality I'm pretty impressed I got about 30 seconds of really pretty good quality of the moon surprisingly um and it was pretty great uh now my picture of saturn really isn't the best it's actually going to be a really disappointing to a lot of you guys when you see it 
but I'm hoping um, I'm gonna call Celestron and find out from them if they have any lenses that will will work with the with the uh, Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ uh, telescope and see if if it'll help me get closer into Saturn. Yeah, when I was looking at it, it was it was smaller. It was about as small as my pinky, so you guys can barely see my pinky, and that's how small it was in the in in the camera, or in the in the picture and on the uh, telescope. It was it was that small. So, <laughs> you know, it's pretty small. It's really disappointing for a lot of you guys when you see it. You're gonna be like, oh, that's pretty sad. But uh, it, it 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 looks better in the telescope than it does in picture. Um, maybe if I get a better lens and stuff, maybe then I'll get, um, better quality or a better, uh, yeah, better shot of Saturn or something. Um, but it really does look amazing. Um, I got some nice views of the moon tonight. It is actually, um, it is actually, uh, April 14th, 2016. And, um, it's just about ready to go on midnight now. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of footage of uh, my discoveries. Uh, nothing real special for those of you who enjoy looking at the moon and seeing videos of the moon and stuff like that. Uh, you might actually like seeing my footage. It's not the best, but yeah, it's something to look back on and say, "Wow, this is this this is where you start at." It. By the way, this is how you will probably start out if you get into to doing. Uh, astronomy and you really take it seriously and you really want to get better results and, and share it with the world um, you might actually go out and spend a bunch of money on more stuff uh, for your your telescope so you might actually buy one of those Carson hookups to put your Android or, or iPhone on uh, I don't think it's compatible with the iPhone 6 so if you guys out there have an iPhone 6 it's probably not going to work for you um, but there's, you can actually go on Amazon and look for Carson hookups. That's C A R S O N Carson hookups. That's H O O K. And I believe it's a Z instead of an S for hooks and it's up U P and, um, you can look for that on Amazon and they're about like 40, 50 bucks. There's also another one that you can get on Amazon. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I'm going to try to hook up the Carson hookup one and see how it works out and stuff. Um, I did get to see Jupiter finally. <laughs> Jupiter was uh, pretty disappointing. Um, I used the roll, the rolling wheels to, to bring the scope into, a, I guess, a focus on it or something like that. I guess you roll it out and the scope comes, the back end of the scope comes out a little bit. You don't really want to go too far with that because you want to start, if you're going to do this, my advice is, is lock on to what you're looking at. Okay, so if you're looking at the moon, let have the, 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 the back end of the scope where it rolls out, have that already stay inside until you get a lock on the moon and then slowly wheel it out a little bit so that you get like a nice little zoom on the moon um, is my advice. Um, I did mention those... Um, those little uh, knobs that are on the uh, the Power Seeker 80 EQ telescope. Um, one is to make the telescope kind of lean. I think it is. It kind of like makes it kind of like tilt, and the other one makes it go up. So it it there's actually I think a total of three of them. I don't know what the other one does offhand, but the one on the side. There's one in the back. There's actually two in the back that you turn it one's underneath the telescope towards the eyepiece and then there's one on the side where the uh, motor drive goes and like I said about the motor drive it's completely useless I tried a couple of times to try to get it on and it's it's just not working now you really don't need the motor drive um, if you're gonna go with this telescope you can you can you're gonna have to learn to manually crank it um, I'm slowly getting the hang of using the crank the little knobs that you have to turn to align it there's a there's a there's a piece at the back of it there's actually two at the back there's a little um oh god what is it it's like a like a little wrench thing that you have to turn it and it makes the the telescope so the telescope will be like this and then as you turn the back piece it, it makes the telescope rise up in the air so that it'll it'll do like a 90 degree turn 
And you gotta be careful because I kind of broke mine at the, <laughs> there's actually, there's actually this little uh, bottom piece where if you're not careful, where that little thing, the little thing is on the back where it turns to make your telescope go point up straight. It, it will, it will fall backwards and there is a thing underneath it that will break and mine's already cracked. Thanks to me uh, doing that because of the weight of the, uh, the weight on the front of it. So when it leans back, it actually hit pretty hard underneath and there's this thing under it that, that broke or that actually cracked, which is kind of sad. <laughs> it's actually one, it's actually like, a, I think it's like a piece like it comes with the lens. So when you get your telescope, if you get one of these refractor telescopes, uh, the, 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 the ADEQ, it comes with, a a I, a, a, a bar lens or something like that. I don't even know how to use the bar lens yet. I, I don't have a freaking clue how that works. Somehow or another, it's supposed to give three times the magnification. I don't understand what that means. I, all I know is I put it on my telescope. I put it and aimed it up at the moon and I couldn't see the moon for crud. Um, and I was using, I think the, uh, I think I was using the 22 millimeter island eyepiece is what I was using. So the three times bar with that eyepiece is not good. And then there's another eyepiece that is a small little one. It's a, it's got a small little, little, um, piece of glass in it and it's and it's really not that good either the only eyepiece that is really good is the um is actually the uh the 22 millimeter one that's the only good one so anyways that's pretty much all i wanted to rant on um enjoy my my videos of the moon and i will do a follow-up video for you guys uh when i can if anything if i get any cool stuff to show you guys Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. Uh, if you want, you can check out my site in the description below. If you want to know more about this guy right here, thanks again for watching. That's the moon. the moon. Saturn. That is Saturn for you guys.